Assalam o Alaikum students. Today we will start with our third chapter that is irrigation on page number twenty nine in your book and this is part one of it. So let's get started. Let's see the introduction first. It states that Pakistan is the most irrigated country in the world. and the water that entered into the canals covered the whole country which gives the hint of the water available in the country and about 97% of the water is in indus river and irrigation is said to be the most easiest way in the olden times this this map is taken from your book it is on page number 29 and it is showing the temperatures and annual rainfall here it is showing that uh, sialkot lahore and mari uh, in these areas the annual rainfall was about 750 mm as this is the key which uh, with the help of the colors uh, we are able to know that how much millimeter of rainfall uh, does it happen in uh, does it happen annually in a certain area uh, where it is showing that the sialkot lahore and in mari it rained about 750 mm uh, whereas in quetta which is here and in peshawar that is here it rained about uh, 500 mm a year annually uh, whereas multan multan is here uh, i'm sorry multan is here hyderabad and karachi hyderabad is here and karachi is here it is stating that it rained about 250 mm annually while uh, only in sakhar there is very less rainfall annually which is about 125 mm which is stating this area so the key is helping us to understand and read the map clearly and this map is just showing the annual rainfall and annual temperature of all these cities avail uh, that are in uh, pakistan indus water treaty 1960 Indus Water Treaty or Indus Basin Treaty is basically an agreement between Pakistan and India. Unfortunately, when partition took place and Indus River was given to Pakistan, its head tributaries were given to India through an agreement and all this was finalized and this agreement was passed in 1960 named as Indus Basin Treaty or Indus River Treaty or Indus Water Treaty. many dams and barrages were built in uh, in order to control the problem of flood and in the agreement of indus basin treaty it was finalized that the waters of indus jhelum and chenab will flow in pakistan while uh, while the waters of ravi bias and satluj will be given to india the water in the river is higher than the land and it is uh, and it made ease for the canals to flow we'll continue with the remaining chapter in the next part inshallah must read the book for better understanding and try to relate the explanation referring to the book as well and i hope it will be beneficial for you thank you allah hafiz